addiction, global warming, increased consumption. No doubt, the Earth could be in a better place, to say the least. Now automakers are beginning to do their part. Hybrids are gaining in traction, and interest in biofuels is spreading. Most experts, however, agree that these are merely stopgap measures and that the future of transportation is in hydrogen. Guess what? The future is here. Hi, I'm Brian Chi, and this is the Honda FCX Clarity. It's the world's first production-ready hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Well, okay, it's not exactly available to everyone. Honda will first roll out the FCX Clarity in Southern California, where it will be available to residents who live nearby existing hydrogen fueling locations. But hey, at least it's a start. And that's the real story here. Now, when you start talking about the future of transportation, you probably imagine some kind of high-tech spaceship-looking design. And to be truthful, there's a little bit of that going on here, but it's not really too over the top. In fact, if you look at Honda's current lineup of cars, the design of the FCX actually looks like it's in the direction they're already heading. It's a sleek design, but for the most part, things are where you would normally find them on every other car. When it comes to driving the FCX, well, it's more of the same. This car is very much like driving a mass-produced, regular old car, especially if it's got Honda badges on it. In fact, in addition to the, the fuel cell powertrain, one of the most notable things about the FCX is some of the little nuances inside the cabin. Like, for example, the A-pillars are very slender. That's a sign of things to come from Honda. There's a new nav system in here. And look at this floating center stack right here. It's a great design that we'll start seeing in Hondas coming up here pretty soon. You know, little things that Honda's doing to, to introduce new technologies and new suppliers to their product lineup are here in the FCX. This is what Honda will be, not what Honda is, and it's very exciting. As far as driving goes, well, like I said at the top, it drives a lot like a regular vehicle. The main difference is this. Did you hear that? Yeah, right. Didn't hear anything, did you? It's very quiet. It's got some whirring, some, some electrodes going off, things like that, but you know what? It's incredibly quiet, and that's because this car has basically a silent powertrain. It's amazing. The nuts and bolts of driving, consider this, 68 miles per gallon, about 134 horsepower or so. Acceleration is actually quite dynamic and, and, and even a little torquey. Um, the stiffness of the suspension is um, typically Honda stiff, but um, very much enjoyable. Braking is, is, is a bit clumsy, but normal for most cars. It's pretty much like every other car on the road today, except for being really quiet. So the, the FCX Clarity drives, operates, is pretty much a normal car. There's no kind of about it. But what about the infrastructure and all the other issues that tag along with hydrogen fuel cell vehicles? Well, that is an issue, but it may not be as big of a problem as you think it is. First, the FCX has a 270 mile driving range. <laughs> You're not going to have to fill this car up every day. Still, Honda recognizes that there is an infrastructure challenge to overcome. To address this issue, Honda is working to develop a home refueling station that uses natural gas to create hydrogen. It doesn't get much easier than that. And who knows, maybe one day that station will use renewable energy. Like we said earlier, this is just a start. Yes, there's infrastructure issues, but they'll be solved. And the technology will improve. The important thing here is the monumental leap of faith that Honda and others are taking to put this vehicle on the road. Here sits the first production ready hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. That's important. Now and for the next 100 years, when we look back, 
the Honda FCX Clarity may just be the most important car we've ever driven. For MyRide.com, I'm Brian Chi. We'll see you soon.